Hi, this is Jackie with Panama Relocation Tours. Welcome to my garden. I want to introduce you to my next door neighbor and my friend John Wiseman, who takes care of the greenhouse for me. You might be wondering, well, why do you have a greenhouse? The soil that we have here in Poquete is just amazing and you can absolutely grow food outside. You don't need to have a greenhouse, but by having a greenhouse that protects the food from too much rain or it protects the food from too much wind. Um, so it makes it easier to grow food all year round. Come and meet my friend John. Most people know what hydroponics is, but basically it is growing plants in a soilless system. You can be as simple as the Kratky method, which has been around for about 30 years or so, developed in Hawaii. A simple recycled jar, add the nutrients and water, suspend the plant in there, and in about four or five weeks you have a head of lettuce. Very simple. Two more complex where you can do a bench scale, and you can grow about 30 plants in this size. There's no limit to the size. I could double it easily by putting plants on the other side of this A-frame if I wanted to. But very simple, a bucket, an aquarium pump, nutrient solution, and gravity feed. And you can see, if he zooms in there, you can see the flow in there. It's just a, it's called nutrient flow technique. The water just passes by the roots and uh, the plants grow. These heads of lettuce are about five weeks old, four weeks old. To the more complex system, um, these are flat beds, again, nutrient film technique, but I have a 100 gallon tank down there that I put my nutrients in, uh, and I monitor the pH and the electrical conductivity to make sure it stabilizes. But as you can see, I can grow all kinds of leafy vegetables. Uh, I've got five to 10 different varieties of lettuce. I've got uh, herbs, parsley, thyme, I've got Swiss chard, uh, I've even got squash and cucumbers. Squash and cucumbers are kind of pushing the limits of this system because the roots are so aggressive they'll clog up the system so you need to harvest them a little bit quicker than you would in the soil. But again these lettuce heads here are about five to six weeks old. They need to be harvested very soon because they're getting so big. Uh, and then in, down the bottom down there I've got towers which is another type of hydroponic system in which there's a uh, mister at the top. So this is nutrient flow. You got a little flow, a little river of nutrients flowing in there. This is a system where the mister up here just sprays and, and keeps about 100% humidity in this tower. And in this case, I'm growing strawberries. This is an experiment. I'm still working out the nutrient concentrations and timing and all, but it obviously works. I have this system separate because strawberries uh, like a different nutrient concentration to grow rather than the leafy vegetables. There's less nitrogen in here, more potassium for fruiting and things like that. For the first system we built, we had uh, a contractor build a metal frame. It doesn't have to be metal, it can be out of wood or it can be out of bamboo if you want to really save money. We purchased two-inch sanitary pipe, PVC. It's very cheap, 20-foot section, costs uh, $4 here. And uh, there are seven pieces per bed. I have six beds. We drilled two-inch holes, which is really, you need to buy the net cups first, and I'll show you what a net cup is, before you drill a hole so that you make sure you get the right size. But each bed has about, has a space for about 200 plants. So there's 1,400 plants uh, that I can grow here. Um, so the water is pumped up from down below, pumped up in uh, one and a half inch PVC, and it comes out in these little distribution system here. And you can see the flow of nutrients in there. There's not much of a flow. It's very small. You don't need a lot. It just needs to be enough to moisten the roots and I have a timer on the system so that it, in, on a sunny day like this I want it to be running about once every hour 
Um, I'll start to see the lettuce wilt if it runs less than that. But on a cloudy day, it can be less. And uh, so each of these are two inch PVCs that go down to the end and they all dump into one central three inch pipe that recycles the nutrient system back to the 100 gallon tank that I have down there. So all the nutrients come back, recycled back down this three inch pipe into a 100 gallon tank. And this tank lasts about a week. Again, it depends on how many plants I have in there, how often I run it, how hot it is. But right now it lasts about a week. This is a little half to three quarter horsepower motor that will pump up the nutrients up to the top. And then it's pretty much gravity fed from there. All of it, as you can see, there's a slope, not only from left to right, but also from top to bottom down to this tank. This is simply a filter to carry, to uh, filter out any little particulates that might get in there or some occasional bugs. And this will run for about 15 minutes every hour. I have a separate system on the towers that I have here because I have a different nutrient con concentration in there, but a similar setup. Half to three quarter horse horsepower motor that pumps the water to misters at the top and uh, hydrates the roots and then comes back it just turned on and it comes back into the tank this is a 50 gallon tank so when you see videos about hydroponics they'll often talk about a net cup this is a net cup commercially available all it does is I start my seeds in here in a substrate which I use peat moss there are other substrates out there but peat moss is readily available here no soil peat moss is is pretty much aseptic it does not contain any microorganisms or diseases in it so I start my seeds in here and when I see the first true leaves or when I see the roots protruding from the bottom I transfer them into my hydroponic system these can go if you buy a large quantity these can go anywhere from about seven cents per cup up to 20 cents for a cup if you only buy a couple you can also make your own. Some of the locals here use a, a cup you buy down at a um, dollar store and they burn little holes in there and that works too to suspend. All you're doing is suspending your plant in that hole so that the roots are in contact with the nutrient solution. So very inexpensive, but Amazon sells these. There's lots of different sizes. So before you, build, before you drill your holes, have your net cups first so that you size it appropriately. You want this you don't want this to sit too high above the nutrient solution. You want it to be touching the nutrient solution. So then the, the next setup I did after the major one here was I wanted to see how cheaply I could do it and how easily I could build a system. This is simply for a bench top. I can grow about 30 plants in this system. It, again, you can get more if you make the holes closer or less if you spread the holes out a little bit more. But I find with a head the size of the lettuce and all that it, the spacing on these is, is better at about 10 inches, uh, whereas this system is 8 inches. They get a little close. And all of this is is, is a simple pump that uh, pumps up to the top and by gravity, this is all at a slant, returns back down to the 5 gallon bucket here. You know, materials for something like this was, was on the order of 50 to 60 dollars. You can buy pre-made nutrients, which I used in this system just to see if it would grow as well. It's more expensive to buy it this way, but it's very convenient. I don't have to, all I do is, the directions are right here. You add five mils of this solution per gallon, or per liter, I should say. And it lasts for about a week, but it's simple. I don't have to measure too much just with a simple measuring spoon. Whereas the more complex system, I use dry chemicals, I calculate how much nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients I need, and I use a scale, I weigh them out, mix them up, and then add it to the system. So it's a little more complicated, but anybody with a little chemistry background can do that. This is very simple, but you pay for the convenience, it's more expensive. In comparison to growing vegetables in soil, like I do off to the side, and there are some plants that are more conducive to this than others. Obviously, the ones that grow big need to be in soil. They will outgrow this system too quickly. This is so much easier. As you can see, I have to weed this. I have to apply nutrients to this or compost. But you're never sure without a lot of soil tests 
how much a plant needs. You have to be more aware looking at the leaves to look at for nutrient deficiencies. The soil, the microbiology in the soil is going to consume some of the nutrients. So when you apply nutrients, the plant's not getting necessarily what you apply. Whereas in a hydroponic system, they are. I have a certain PPM of NPK and micronutrients that I'm applying here, and I know it's going to the plants and only the plants. So it saves me a lot of time growing this way, and they're also very fast to mature. Again, four to five weeks for this head of lettuce. If I were to grow that same lettuce in the soil, we're probably talking six to eight weeks. And uh, a lot more water control in the soil. And as far as money goes, it cost me $1.20 in nutrients to fill that 100 gallon tank. $1.20. And that's about every week or so, week to 10 days, depending on the weather. In the ground, it's going to cost you so much more because you have to apply nutrients for the soil as well as the plant. I don't have an actual dollar figure for that, but uh, I can produce a head of lettuce in my nutrient solutions here for about 40 cents, uh, if that gives you an idea on the uh, relatively how cheap it is to grow hydroponically after you buy the materials.